Our team coverage continues now at the mouth of the gorge in Troutdale, and you can see the blowing snow that drivers were dealing with just before the sun went down. Then with a sheet of ice on top of that, conditions really got dangerous. I-84 shut down tonight all the way to Hood River. Let's go live now to Evan Watson in Troutdale. Evan, earlier you were hit with tiny ice pellets. You saw chunks coming off buildings. I hear the wind there. What is it like right now? Yeah, well, David, I can tell you that my best friend, the ice pellets, have returned. We had a couple hours of calm with nothing really flying through the air, but boy, they're back with a vengeance. The winds are just very strong here at Troutdale, and it's no wonder that ODOT closed the gorge, uh, this, this road here, I-84, from Troutdale to Hood River. Earlier today, around 2.30, before we saw really any conditions here, they knew what this would turn into, and we've seen that come to fruition here. Currently, the ice getting picked up from the ground and also through the, through the wind coming down, and not even directly down, but being blown kind of at that 45 degree angle. Now, as we talked about I-84 being closed, we've seen a steep drop off in the number of trucks and cars being turned around here. Most people thankfully heeding the warnings to stay home and stay out of this, not try to drive in these conditions. But we did check in at PDX as well at the airport where a lot of flights have been canceled this evening. It was one of those rare days where the departures lane at PDX stood still. I mean, I'm not surprised. Andres had a flight out Tuesday night to get home to Florida. He said he didn't get an email and thought it was still on, only to arrive and find a mostly empty airport. Oh, well, it was dead. <laughs> I walked up to security and they're like, oh yeah, there's no flights tonight. Cool. In total, 26 departing flights out of PDX were canceled from Tuesday afternoon through midnight. The airport cited the freezing rain as the reason why many airlines called off their flights early. Many flights, but not all. Luis Espinoza and his family are one of the last flights standing a Valeris plane headed to Guadalajara. He says they feel lucky. And me happy because another person stay here and they hope where. Most people at PDX are travelers like Donna Acox, staying overnight and waiting for the next available flight. Never seen this airport with this few people in it. Acox was initially going to fly out of Eugene, but then rebooked to fly out of Portland. The weather's kind of bad, it's icy outside, so we're just kind of stranded here. Back here in Trout Dill, these current conditions really require a stable base, that kind of athletic stance. Uh, before you got to me, even during that package as it was playing, you feel big gusts come through just like that one right now that can almost knock you off your feet. It also requires protection for the eyes if you're looking into where the ice is getting flown through. Another great reason to not even try to test these conditions uh, and stay off the roads best you can. So we're going to keep keep an eye on things out here. It's just so windy that I think that's really where you run into problems if you're trying to stay outside for longer than just to check on what it looks like. David, back Nothing to you. Nothing like a live demo there. Evan Watson there. Excellent work by you and your photographer, Ken McCormick. We really appreciate it. Come back inside. Stay warm tonight. Thanks so much.